first off, I've been following your career for a little bit now, and the new album this Friday. Emily, can you can you tell us about the new album? I mean, I know you have been working on it the last couple of years. Yeah, um, it's pretty. Um, it's kind of a different direction for me from my last record. Um, I kind of did more of a bluesy inspired uh, record last time and. This time I wanted to go more pop um, with it. So I wanted to see how I could uh, mix, you know, rock and grunge and, and pop together. And um, I think it turned out, turned out well. I'm excited. Amazing. And then can you tell us a, a little bit about uh, where you recorded it, who you recorded it with, and who will be releasing it? So I did this record out in L.A. Um, the bass player from Queens of the Stone Age produced it. Um, his name's Michael Schumann, and he's uh, the coolest guy I've ever seen, <laughs> and he's the best. <laughs> um, so he produced it, and we did it. We were supposed to do the record in... Um, Electrovox Studios, but about a week before I went out there, the owner sold the building. So we ended up having to do it in his garage. <laughs> um, but it's cool though, because he, his garage studio is really like decked out, like kind of, you know, there's, there's damper blankets everywhere. So it's really tight sounding. And um, we kind of had some limited equipment, but it was really fun to focus on the songs and the lyrics and um, the tones and everything. I got a feeling it's about a hundred degrees. I am a real thing. Nothing coming to me for free. In working with the basis from Queens of the Stone Age, what was that process like? Yeah, for sure. I learned so much from him because um, he's got a side project called Mini Mansions and. I love that band. Um, and with Queens too, they, when I really listened to their music, I, I kind of noticed that they took like metal and made it pop, um, which is really cool to me. And so I was like, maybe, maybe this, maybe working with Michael would be like really, you know, the right pairing for this album. So um, yeah, I learned a ton of things. I learned about some new pedals, like guitar pedals that I love. Um, and just about lyrics in general and how, how delicate you have to be with them and, um, really make sure that every single word like really is supposed to be there. Like is the best possible word and best possible line that you can put in the song. And, um, I think, uh, he taught me to take my time a lot more with the writing process and not rush it just so I can get it done, you know. That's too cool. And you mentioned lyrics. I, I was really noticing that, you know, I was listening to the, the single that I'm playing a lot on Amazing Radio called No Man. And I, I was listening the, to that and thinking about how the, there seems to be a really cool subtext there. It almost seems like you've added a, a few different layers of meaning in there to where it, it can you know be universal and, and be something that folks can listen to, not just today but you know five years from now 10 years from now 20 years from now totally yeah that's the vibe that i was going for um there's some like you know sarcasm in the first verse um uh and then yeah i mean i, I just wrote that song out of, out of you know anger and there were just a few a few dudes on on my in my life at, at one point that i just couldn't I couldn't get down with anymore. And um, I started to really feel like, you know, is it because I'm a woman? And so that they're yeah, kind of treating me the way they are. And um, I wrote that song from that experience. And yeah, it's definitely like, you know, 
anti-patriarchy for sure. Um, but at the same time, I think there are lyrics in there that I did want, you know, any person to feel connected to, um, of any kind of, you know, identity. So, uh, you know, it's about the man taking him down. So <laughs> thank you, Emily, for your time. Thank you. Thanks again for all the support. Um, yeah, appreciate it.